It feels good to be back to YouTube, and in time for the holiday season. Hello everyone, my name is Kofi Hime, welcome back to my channel and to an actual video for once. I'm so sorry that I really haven't uploaded anything, you know, college got in the way. But yeah, long story short, I'm glad to be back, and to be honest, I can't wait to review this video we're going to be talking about today. It's a... Uh, <laughs> it's a treat. In other words, your holiday that you celebrate just came early. So the video we're going to be watching today is another Karen one. Still weird to use that term for me. I'm sorry, it just is. But this video is this woman who wants this car to move and she threatens to ram them if they don't. Let's take a look. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but the worker said go around. You're gonna hear that a lot, by the way. I'm just, just gonna throw that out there. The fuck around my car, I'm gonna hand you. I will hand you because you're not letting me out. That's unsafe. So you're not letting me out. I feel unsafe. I, what? What is the logic behind that? I feel unsafe, so I'm going to ram you. No. That's not, that's... That doesn't make any sense. If you feel unsafe, y you could just, I don't know, anything but that. Or you could do what the worker said and just go around like, my my lord, you could just do that. But apparently not, I suppose. I will ram your car. So you can either, one, move the fuck out of the way, or I'm going to feel unsafe and I'm going to ram your car. Again. Flawless logic here. I see no issues whatsoever. Right now, you're being the aggressor. Matt, Matt, I'm letting you, you know. Stop I feel our do not. Hey, you can I feel do around. not. Go back in your car. I don't feel it. I don't help. I don't feel safe. Around. Don't harass them. They're not doing I don't feel safe here. to go around. They're parked for a reason. I'm letting you know. I'm calling the cops. Have you been Good. drinking? She's all fucked up. No, I have not. Just you like certainly sound like you're high so or drunk. I'm letting you know. I'm calling the cops. Good. Don't harass them. Call the cops. They're not doing anything. I don't you feel safe. Around. Why? Because and you're I'm all not drunk going, out. I'm not you're drunk going around. Leave them. Okay, does she realize that, like, not threatening to ram them is also an option? Like, okay, I understand if you don't have that much room to move around and therefore you don't feel safe doing so. Like, okay, if, if that were the case, then that's fine. But you're threatening to ram the other person's car, which makes you in the wrong. Like, do, do people like this not understand that? Hello. I'm They're not, not going doing anything around. To I parked them. I'm for a letting reason. you know okay? that I don't feel safe to go around. Get out my that is Stop! My Stop it right now. Face. Did you guys see that? All right, I slowed it down so that way it would be easier to see. But from the looks of the slower version of the clip. Um, it looks like that this woman, she, like, tries to, like, get her, like, hands towards the other person who's off camera's face, and she kind of, like, lightly, like, pushes her hand out of the way. It looks, like, a lot more aggressive in the original, which it probably was, but from the looks of it, she kind of, like, started the instigation of that first, but you'll see later that she's like, oh, this woman touched me. Yeah, okay, whatever, you started it. You had her finger right here. What are you finger right here? What are you scuttering? No, 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 no. Oh, this is great. You know what? I got your license number. I work at DMV. You're going to get in the hole. Oh, I am. Yeah, you are. Go for it. I do want to. Go for it. Are you sick or something? Is something wrong with you? One thing, I'm sober. Which is great. Yeah, okay, lady, whatever you say. You're you're totally sober with the way you're acting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. I'm gonna be real. Aside from that, I quite literally did not pick up anything else. I hope so. They come, and they're blocking my way out of here. You told them I could not get out of here without them going. So this is gonna be amazing. Again, totally sober. Just want to emphasize that. All right, so I'm gonna skip this part because this part actually captures this woman's license plate and I don't want to show that because that's just 
That makes me know better, to be honest. So, yeah. Uh, skipping this part for now. What? What, bitch? What? And here it is, folks, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get ready, grab your popcorn, get your sodas, right here, hot dogs, five cents. Oh, fuck. Oh! <coughs> Holy shit! Total hit run! Hit run! And there you go, that was it. Not only did she not ram the people she threatened, she rammed the people behind her, and then she also commits a hit and run which is illegal, isn't that just funny? I don't know why of all things she chose to ram the people she didn't threaten to ram, but you know, it's it's a tweaked out Karen, so I mean, ugh, that term is so weird to use. But yeah, all jokes aside, that is illegal, that is a hit and run caught on camera. I hope that the guy filming turned this into the police and I hope to God she got arrested, because that is illegal, that is how, how did you think that you could get away with this? It doesn't matter if you're under the influence or if you're intoxicated or whatever. You still committed a crime. You, you gotta pay for that kind of shit, dog. So there's another video that I also found that I feel like would be very fun to talk about. I was gonna save it for a different video, but I figured, you know what? Why not hit two birds with one stone? So now we're gonna watch it. Allow me to give some background info. So this woman is in Walmart, not wearing a mask, you know, 2020, the time that shall not be named, you know, good, good fun. But yeah, she's not wearing a mask and this guy's been like, yo, put on a mask and you know, that whole spiel. And this guy also calls her a Karen, and she does not like that. Let's take a look at this one, shall we? So if I, if I talk to her now, what do I do? Okay, go, go ahead and record me. Go ahead and record me. Mr. Ohio, go ahead. Karen. Go ahead. Okay, go Karen. Go ahead, because you will be part of this too. I will. As you can see here, this woman does not want to wear a mask, and this guy's recording her while she's also recording, and you know, it's one of those cool recording match-offs, you know? Those I actually kind of like to see. <laughs> it gives like two different points of view of stuff, so I mean, I think that's rather interesting. But, this woman's just, you don't have to get so mad over a mask, dude. Like, just, just put it on, it makes people feel safe. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Can you please not do that? You know what? I'm calling 911. 911? Yeah. <laughs> what? Just because of this guy recording you and people refusing to like give you service in Walmart because you're not wearing a mask, which is a requirement by like the state? It's not a law, but it's still required. You still have to do it. Oh my god, yeah. She's calling 911 because people are refusing to give her service because she's not wearing a mask, dude. And this guy's recording her. Well, she's also recording. And so she's call she's calling 911 because of that? Dude, how petty can you be? That's a fair reaction. Black Lives Matter, right? How are you recording them? Black Lives Matter, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I, I forgot that she mentions Black Lives Matter. So the guy, I'm assuming, is an African American? And henceforth, why she says that. We get it. You're right. <gasps> Shut up. Don't care. Yeah, you're sure too, but you don't act like it. Do you work here? No. Do you, what's your name? I've been watching Karen videos for a while. I couldn't pass it up. I like how the guy just says that out of nowhere. I think that's just really funny that he just brings that up. So? Okay, so we're talking about <laughs> I'm going to go in there and chop. If there are any legal issues, you here for my attorney. Oh, good. Hi, am I allowed to um, shop here with that mask? I have a health exemption. This is a Walmart. Every Walmart has a sign that says, you must wear a mask. It is required for you to shop. No mask, no service. You cannot shop there without a mask on. It is required by the store that you have one on in order for you to shop. What do you not understand about that? They're not going to talk to you, Karen. Karen, that's an anti-white racist slur. No, it's not. There's black that's Karens, there's Chinese Karens, there's white Karens. Ah, here we go. The meat of the video where she claims that Karen is a slur against white women. As a white woman, spoiler alert, it's not. It's actually a name 
for females. And I'm gonna be real, that's actually one of the reasons why I'm uncomfortable with using that term in the first place to describe women. Because I know people named Karen and they do not fit the stereotypical Karen whatsoever. So, <laughs> fun fact about me. But yeah, all jokes aside, Karen is in no way, shape, or form a slur. The fact that she kind of just pulls that out of her ass, whilst also beforehand making fun of Black Lives Matter, you you really know that she's trying to play victim here, and despite that, we all know that she's not. So you're an anti-white racist? No, if it. anybody that acts like you is a Karen, put on a mask. Not I hope you ain't none of my friends' mom, because you're embarrassing the hell out of them right now. I hope you ain't none of my friends' mom. Sorry if like you are. You an N. The N the same thing. Whoa, 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 what? Did she just say that Karen and the N word are on the same par? No, they're not. There is a literal history of the N word being used, especially in the time of slavery. In no way is Karen a term people use for angry women who think they're entitled to everything. Th those two are not on the same par. How do, you, how do you even come to that conclusion? You call me in if you want. I got a sister to beat your ass. Is that a threat? No, that's a promise. I love how I love how she thinks that he's threatening her when in reality, I'm pretty sure this guy's joking around with her and just fucking with her. And she takes it seriously because she doesn't know how to take a joke. I just think that's funny. Okay, well, you're, you're now, that's actually false. Okay. This guy just threatened me, so. I threatened you? I told you if you call me the N word, I have a sister that will whoop your ass. That's a threat. That's not a threat. You're very ignorant. That's so not a threat. You're very ignorant. Okay. Uh, how does this woman have the galls to say that this guy is ignorant when she's made fun of Black Lives Matter? said that Karen is a slur against white women and is on the same par as the N-word, and refused to wear a mask and still wants to shop even though it's a requirement by Walmart. How is she gonna sit there and call this guy ignorant? Projection much? I- I like to think so. Talk about ghetto. Talk about ghetto. ghetto. I'm racist though. I'm racist. Oh yeah, add calling this guy ghetto on the list too. And that's that on that video. So what have we learned today? Threatening to ram somebody is illegal. Even going through with it and committing a hit and run is also illegal. Karen is a slur against white women, apparently. However, whilst you say that, you can also say that you can easily bash other races because you know what? Karen's a slur. It's fine. I'm also being oppressed, I, I suppose. All jokes aside, please, please watch out for these kinds of people. These people are just extremely batshit. I don't know what else to say, dog. Both these women are in the wrong, and they quite literally have no dignity traced to them in these videos. Please don't ever be like this. Wear a mask. Don't ram people. Don't threaten to ram people. Don't actually go through with it as well and then end up hurting someone else. You know, that's just, that's just plain out wrong, and it shows that you really don't care about others. All that aside, I'm back. I hope that's the best holiday gift that you can receive, because you get to see me. Isn't that cool? But yeah, everything aside, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and that's it. See ya. So the video we're gonna be watching- oh shit, ow, that hurt.